Hey everybody, it's Christy Sanders, your independent Cincy consultant. Welcome back to my channel, where today I want to tell you about my experience at Cincy Family Reunion uh, 2022. Now, we got back from Cincy Family Reunion about a week ago. It was in Salt Lake City, Utah this year, and uh, honestly, I have been too tired to even talk about it for a week. It was, we were exhausted by the time we got home, but we had such a good time. So, I want to tell you what I learned and some things that I think would help you if you've never been before, um, for new people, uh, some um, insights, I guess I would say, from Cincy Family Reunion. And I want to show you my goodies that we got from there as well. Um, but first, I want to read you this quote. This quote is by Orville. He's one of the founders of Cincy. And he, um, he said this years ago in an old video. And I saw this earlier this week and I thought, Oh, that's really good. And it kind of describes some of the culture that I experienced at Cincy Family Reunion. So he said that Cincy culture is about shining the brightest light that we can onto the darkest places that we can find. It's to bring the value to a world of brothers and sisters who yearn to be loved, understood, and belong. And you can just feel that culture oozing all around you when you go to um, Cincy Family Reunion. So let me tell you how I got there. I started Cincy at the end of August last fall. And so the fall sales incentives had already been started. But um, gosh, from the minute I started Cincy, I loved it. I've had so much fun with it. And I um, I earned the fall sales incentive trip to SFR. And I didn't even think that that was possible for me to do. And so that was pretty cool. And I also ha earned the um, Sensational Start 3 so I knew I would be recognized um, and get to walk across stage at SFR for being a Sensational Start Level 3 earner. So when I earned the trip, we decided, well, let's just go. So my husband went with me and we went to Salt Lake City. It was the first time we have traveled by ourselves without kids since we've been married. And we've been married for 32 years. So, so um, it was time for us to take a trip for sure. And we had such a good time. But um, we went a day early, and I do think that's a very good idea. So when we go next year, we'll definitely go a day early. And that gives, gave us some time to kind of explore the city and kind of get a feel for where we could go to eat and what there was to do. We actually took a trolley ride around the city. It stopped in different little sites where we could get out and see and take pictures. And then... Um, about lunchtime on the day before the conference started, some of the people that were on the trolley with us said they were going on over to the conference center to go ahead and get registered. And I didn't realize that at the time, but almost everybody that was on the trolley with us that were Cincy people, they were all directors. And so, like, they were just so sweet to me. And they they told me, this is what you need to do. Come on over here with us. And they were giving me little hints about my business. And they're just so encouraging because I felt like a nobody compared to them. You know, these were the Cincy superstars. And I'm I'm just this little consultant that won my trip. And I really don't know what I'm doing, you know. So, um, I went on over. I've just followed them along like a little puppy. They said, come go with us. And so I did. And we went over to the conference center. And this is about lunchtime the day before it started. So, this was Wednesday. And it was a really neat thing to go on over and register early because they already had the registration table set up. They were um, expecting to do some things with directors and leadership um, for that time before the, the conference started. So most of the people there were directors, um, but none of them made me feel like I, I shouldn't be there, you know. So I went on in and I got registered. We took some pictures. Um, this is my name badge, okay, and... It tells my name and where I'm from. I have this green lanyard. I don't know if they do this every year, but for this year anyway, if you were green, you were a, a certified star or superstar consultant. But if you had an orange or a red lanyard, you were a director and above, I think. But now if I'm wrong, I'm not, I'm, I hope I'm not wrong, but I don't mean to tell you wrong, but that's what I figured out was that, um, if there were other people with green lanyards, they were like me. And they were not directors, but they were doing the best they could. And we were having a grand old time. And we were learning so much from everybody that was there. Um, and at the bottom of your 
name badge, you get all these ribbons. And I can't promise you I've got these in the right order, but I just want to show them to you. You'll get ribbons that um, have on there your rank, that have your, um, I was a first time attendee. I think there's kind of a glare. It tells my lifetime PRV and that I was a sensational start level three earner. And I got my shooting star award. And I was a trip qualifier, and I was from the U.S. And then these other things down at the bottom were extras. Okay, I was from Sent Team Team. I'm getting tongue tied, aren't I? Sent Team Sent Goddess. I did the fitness marshal at a uh, fitness class, and that was really fun. And then my director gave me a ribbon that says "Perfect the way I am." So that was kind of cute. So you wear these all week, and everybody's got different ribbons at the bottom, and it's kind of fun to see because the rhythms rhythm. Ribbons kind of tell the story about that person, you know, and so um, it was kind of fun to to immediately feel like you knew somebody because you knew some things about them, you know, just by meeting them and seeing their name badge. Um, when I did walk in and I got registered, I got to meet my superstar director that I've never met before. Her name is Debbie Pitts Palmer, and she was so sweet and gracious and just welcomed me as if she'd known me all her life. And, um, uh, she introduced me to a few other people standing around there, and that was really fun. We took some pictures, and then my husband and I just kind of explored the conference center because um, we didn't have to be anywhere, and the whole place was decorated up with Scentsy, and y'all have probably seen some of the pictures from the outside, the Salt Palace. It's got this big glass tower at the at the front of the um, conference center, and it had a huge Scentsy sign. It was all colored up purple, and it had Scentsy. And when you went inside, all of the pillars in the place were wrapped in Scentsy things. There was um, Scentsy signs everywhere. It's like the whole place was decorated Scentsy. And so that was fun. And they had these little, see this little smiley face? had these little smiley faces and emojis popped up everywhere. There was lots of fun places to take pictures and um, just make lots of memories. Lots of fun places to stop and do videos for your um, Scentsy groups. And so that was fun. Um, the next day, Thursday morning, we got up early. We had a 7 a.m. And we were dealing with the time change too. So, oh my goodness, we were sleepy. But we went to a 7 a.m. fitness class. And they had a, um, a YouTuber on there. His name was the Fitness Marshal. And he, let, he and his team led a um, fitness class for about an hour that morning. And that was so fun when you're in there with thousands of other women and men. And we were exercising at 7 o'clock in the morning. And it was just fun. We had good music and it was fun. Um, my superstar director, I'm going to show you some of the goodies I got along the way too. She gave me uh, on Thursday this. It says, Christy Sanders Incentive Earner, Salt Lake City, SFR 2022. See the little warmers here? Well, at first I thought, well, that's just not, like a nice little sign. Um, and I thought it was so sweet of her, but it's not a sign at all. I, I uh, opened it up and there's a, a pin in there. And so I thought that this is a, a treasure and I'm almost afraid to take it. My, I'm afraid I'll lose it if I take it away from home. But um, uh, I don't know if my camera will focus. There it is. It's got my name inscribed on it. And so this... This will always be special to me. A little memento from my first SFR. She also gave me this fun banner. Paid to party. <laughs> because we get paid to have Zincy parties. And so that'll be fun to take some pictures with too. And so we got that on Thursday. Let's see. What else on Thursday? I think that's all. And then, um, no, I mean, yeah, Thursday. And then we that's all for that morning. And then the conference started that night. And when you walk into the conference center, there is such a feeling of, like, it was very emotional for me. Like, it's very, you just feel like you're so full, like so full of happiness, and it's just so exciting, and uh, you just can't take it in, in fast enough. You feel like a little kid in a candy store. It's like, oh, there's so much to see over here, and so much to see over here, and Oh my gosh, there's a famous person I've seen on you, or famous to me anyway, a person I've followed on YouTube for six months. And oh my goodness, there's somebody from the home office I've seen pictures of before. And um, it was so fun. I met, um, and then I would meet people that 
I had no idea who they were. They were strangers to me, but the people with me were like, oh, there's so-and-so, you know, there's Chuck. Let's go meet Chuck. And I was like, I don't know who Chuck is, but I'm going to go meet him. You know, <laughs> it turns, come, come to find out uh, if I'm getting my information correct. Chuck is, I think, Orville's brother. He's one of the founding people of Cincy, or maybe he's Heidi's brother. Oh, Mr. Chuck, if you're watching, I'm really not trying to mess it up on purpose. But he's related to some of the founders of Cincy. And um, and so I met him in the hallway with some of my other brand new Cincy friends. And then later we got to see Chuck go up on stage. And he um, he did he was part of the program. And so that was pretty cool to get to meet people like that. Um, so then Thursday night we had, here's my little book from all my, mementos here. Thursday night, they had, um, they had speakers come in, um, that were, they had Cincy consultants who would speak, and then they had famous people that would speak, and then they did a lot of product reveals that are coming up for Christmas and Harvest and Halloween and just the fall, and, um, you know, they had six huge screens across the front, and they would have little skits sometimes, sometimes people from the central office were dressed in costumes, and uh, that was really fun to see them and see their funny side, you know. Um, and then there was these big confetti cannons, and they were always going off. And you'd think everything was calm, and all of a sudden music would start blaring, and these confetti cannons would would shoot off, and the confetti was thick in this place, and it was falling around you like snow. And you're like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? And um, then they would they would do giveaways. And they'd say, let's have a giveaway. And people would come out from the back of the stage and they'd have these huge carts like you would see, um, maybe carts like they would put laundry in if you were at like a big hospital or something. I'm a nurse, so all of my stuff goes back to hospital references, I'm afraid. But um, they'd come out well in these big carts with about three or four people around each one. There'd probably be 20 or 30 carts that would come out from the backstage. And they would just go down the aisles and they were passing out gifts just down the road everybody gets one and so the person on the end they just pass it down pass it down till you till everybody in the row gets a gift and you get to keep one and um you know the music was playing it was so fun it was like being at a birthday party for little kids only it was for adults very very fun okay so one of the first gifts that they gave away was this Hedwig Scentsy Buddy and he came, he came in a plastic bag like this, and they just passed him down the road. And inside, this is Hedwig from Harry Potter, okay? And he came with a, a scent pack, and all the scent packs were of Luna, okay? So let's get him over here. And he's going to be coming out this fall with some Harry Potter products that are coming out. And if you've watched Harry Potter movies, you know that the owls, oh, I think I squished him a little, didn't I? The owls um, delivered the mail. So he's got mail, his little letter here with the um, Hogwarts seal on it. And on the bottom of the letter, it says, let me show you, Cincy. Okay. So if you buy one of these Hedwigs, his letter comes off. It's just Velcroed on there. Can you see? So he was pretty cute, and he's probably at least a forty or forty-five dollar gift. Everybody in there got one. Yeah, you know, my husband went with me, even though he was not a consultant. He got one too. So we both got headwigs, and then when when they pass out all these gifts, everybody gets out their cameras. They're taking pictures, so you take pictures with yourself with your prep with your um, gift, and then you take pictures of teams with their gifts. And um, you know, a few minutes later, the music would change, and it was. Um, time to do something else so we'd have another speaker come and talk for a little while and then um on our way out from the first night of our sfr they gave everybody that that was there a complete set of the transition testers for the fall so you know then the music blares again confettis go off confetti cannons go off and they say everybody's going to get this and so the whole crowd and i think there's about four thousand people there everybody's going what excited it was just so exciting and fun because everybody there was excited to be there too and it's it's 
just you can't it, you can't put it into words how how fun and emotional and joy filled that experience was. Here is the tester set that we got. It smells so good. Um, I'm supposed to be taking that to work with me tomorrow. I've got some friends that want to smell that, so I got to take that tomorrow. So. As we went out, we all got our testers, we went back to the rooms, and um, we were so excited it was hard to go to sleep, because we, it was all, we'd all been so hopped up, like little kids, you know. We finally went to sleep, the next day was Friday, Friday was filled with um, uh, sessions, and then they had some little breakout classes on Friday. We got, oh, I think we got this on Thursday too, I didn't tell you. This is one of our new products, the um, Travel Twist. So they gave this out, and they come out, confetti cannons, people coming out, just passing these around. I can't describe to you how, how exciting, and just everybody got so excited when they started giving out gifts. They called them Oprah moments, and I think sometimes Oprah would have moments like that. I don't know if I can say Oprah on YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> oops. So, anyway, they passed these out. Oh, it smells so good. So this is a little travel twist, and that's going to be taking the place of the travel tins. So they're going away this fall. But, and this one, everything we got, I think, or a lot of what we got was in the scent of Luna. So that's Luna, okay? And the way it works is, I'm trying to get it to focus. There it goes. See the little pictures of the different scent groups? So you just twist this white piece, and it reveals underneath there a, um, it's felt on inside there, a felt disc that's, infused with the Luna scent and um, you can close it up a little bit if that's too strong or open it all the way up if you've got a stinky situation okay and they said these are great for gym bags for in your car for luggage and I'm sure we're gonna find all kinds of other ways to use these little travel twists okay this is what they look like They're kind of thin Okay, so this, I can't remember. It was all such an emotional situation. But I think they give this to us on Friday night with the Hedwig and the, the testers. And then they had the, um, the consultant store was open. So after we, after we went to, I forgot that part. After we left the conference, we could go to the consultant store. And man, I was unprepared for that. The consultant store was huge. It's like a big Walmart in that built. The building was huge, or that room was huge. And I felt like all 4,000 of the consultants and their whole families were in there. And um, maybe a lot of extra people too. Like it, we were shoulder to shoulder walking through there. And it was like Black Friday. You know, everybody was so excited. And they had a lot of items in the consultant store that we haven't had a chance to see yet. There was some clothing in there that we haven't had a chance to see. There was the fall extra sets, the fall testers. They had the fall stickers. Um, and then, uh, like there was a Disney blanket. There were several tote bags and things that you could buy. Um, and then lot, lots of little things that we have seen in this consultant store before. Notepads and lip glosses and flashlights, ink pens, stuff like that. Um, I did get... Open it. This is loud. I got a 2023 planner, which is just um, very similar to, you know, this is my 2022 one, and I use it. I use it a lot. So I was happy to get a 2023 planner, and um, and then we went back to the hotel, and we were so excited we couldn't go to sleep for a while. So um, Friday we had more sessions. Friday, they gave us, um, oh, Friday, we got to hear a speaker. Her name was Amy Purdy, and she is a, she is a snowboarder, but she, um, she has a incredible story. If you ever get to hear Amy Purdy speak, she, um, she got sick with meningitis and ended up losing her, uh, both of her feet, um, very quickly after getting meningitis, and, um, and she ended up coming back to to play and participate in Paralympic snowboarding and oh my goodness I'm missing my pots I'm not here though um Paralympic snowboarding and she's just got an incredible story she ended up 
um, shown us video clips where she's been on Dancing with the Stars and said that she came in second place. But um, it was just incredible what her story was. So we heard that. And then they gave us these, did another product reveal, Winnie the Pooh in the um, wall fan diffuser, okay? So here's Winnie the Pooh. Of course, me and Morgan both got one. They came out just like they did before with all those baskets, you know, uh, confetti cannons and loud music. It was very fun. Here is the Winnie the Pooh wall fan diffuser. And he's got a little night light. You know, if you plug him in and press the light, he's not only going to work as the mini wall fan, but he's he's got a little night light coming on. And they did tell us that this fall, all of our wall fan diffusers are going to have the night light in them. Okay? And so, um, and in the same box, they gave us a pack of 100 acre wood scent, uh, pods. Oh, y'all, that's a good one. And I don't have little kids, but... I love the 100 acre woods. So the way these work is you just put your pods in there. You can use one or two. Put the top on it. No wax, no mess. So it's good for people with little kids. So everybody got one of these um, Friday. And they introduced the... Um, there's going to be a fall set of waxes coming out called Sensepirations. And, um, so at one point in the program, they gave us all these little bags. It looks kind of like a little Santa bag. It's got a drawstring on it. And the Sensepirations collection is based on the idea of mixing scents, you know, and the base scent for the Sensepirations is vanilla bean buttercream. See the little Christmas ball? So these are probably going to come out around Christmas time. And then there's three other bars in here that are blends of banana cream buttercream and they said sorry, vanilla bean buttercream not banana vanilla bean buttercream and they said that you can you know when these come out people will still be mixing this they sent the vanilla bean buttercream with lots of other things too so that'll be fun to experiment with so the other ones in here are gingerbread buttercream and candy cane buttercream and I'm not going to spend a lot of time describing these right now. They're all delicious and caramel buttercream. So, I got one. My husband got one. And we all carried our little, little Santa bags back to the hotel. Um, they also give us a um, fall and winter catalog. So, we all got our hands on the fall and winter catalog. And then, um, this is what it looks like. And then in the consultant store, they also had stacks of these where you could go ahead and buy them early. They talked about um, how uh, Disney is a big partner with Scentsy now. And Disney has a um, flower garden this summer in Epcot. And Scentsy is providing the fragrance for that. There's a family of wax bars for that, um, for that promotion for Disney. And... They, and they have a bunch of flowers in the, that are in big, beautiful arrangements and displays in Epcot that Scentsy's helped sponsor. And they gave all of us a commemorative packet of lavender seeds. See Scentsy's logo down here at the bottom. And um, it's got planting instructions on the back. And then a code where you can scan that code and get more information on the Scentsy fragrances. But these... Um, Lavender seeds are what they're giving out if you go to this display in Epcot. Um, they're giving up thousands of these packs of since, uh, lavender seeds a day to um, to visitors there at Disney. And they all have this little code on them to direct them back to Scentsy if they want more things that are inspired by those flowers and that display at Disney. All right. What else? Then I've got... here. Oh, at one point on Friday, we had um, some time where we could go to these different booths. And they had this big room and where you could meet the home office. And they had lots of booths in there. And I encourage you, if you go next year, to make sure that you go visit those booths. They had them there from Cincy Club. They had customer service there. They had a compliance booth. 
They had people there that would help you talk about promoting Scentsy on social media. They had someone there helping you promote Scentsy through your email. They had, um, and they had someone there that would give you analytics. Analytics means that they would give you data on how well you're doing with your, um, with your personal website. And so, um, you gotta know your consultant number when you go to these booths. And in case you don't know, it's on the back of your name badge in case you don't have it memorized. But I did find all the directors and people that have been there before, they knew their consultant number. And I didn't, and it made me look like quite a newbie. So, if you're going to SFR next year, memorize your consultant number before you go, and then you won't look like a newbie. And you, they'll, they'll, you'll look like you know what you're doing. So, I will, I will have that down. I had that down after, you know, a couple times I realized, oh, I can't walk up to these booths and not know my number. Yeah, <laughs> that's important. So, um, they gave me, they gave you these little graphs. And the graphs break down how well your website did, your website traffic, you know, how many people go to different parts of your website and how well you did in sales, okay? And they would compare you to other people at your rank across your region. And you could kind of see how, I could kind of see how I stood up against other star consultants in North America. And, um... Considering I've been doing this less than a year, I was I was happy. I was happy with how that came out. So, um, but they gave you lots of good information that'll be good to take home and 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 work work from there. Okay. Um, I think if I'm not forgetting anything, the last gift they gave us was on Saturday, and they gave every one of us a full size brick of an exclusive scent that is only available to people that went to. Cincy Family Reunion, and it doesn't even really seem to have a name on it, so I don't know if the name of this scent is just Cincy is You Family Reunion 2022. There's really not a scent, and it's, um, there's no description, so it smells kind of fruity to me. I wish I had the scent description, so I don't know if they'll release that at some point, but, um, now I've already broke off part of a cube there because I've melted some upstairs but the top layer of it has this blue glitter that's pretty and then that that's only on the top so all the way through the bottom it's this deep deep plum color okay and it smells good and we got two of them because my husband was there too so he got one tonight I got one um so I'm melting one I don't know if I'm gonna melt the other one yet I may keep it for a just a scentsy treasure from SFR and I think yeah there was confetti everywhere y'all it came from these can cannons and they were going off all the time so I did put a little bit of confetti that was just in the chairs beside me okay in in this little bar just to just to remember but big pieces of confetti you know you can see big pieces of this tissue paper just everywhere it was so fun. I've never seen anything like it. All right. So that is all of that. I'm trying to see if I've got anything else. I made some notes. And I haven't even looked at them. Um, oh, if you go next year, these are some tips that we learned. And some of these things we learned the hard way. So you want to carry a bag. Um, you don't want to go in there with just a small purse or go in there with nothing. You want to have something to carry um, to put things in, like the prizes that they give you. Um, but also, if you go to some of these workshops and some of these little breakout sessions, you're going to get handouts or workbooks, and you'll need something putting in to carry. It'll just be a lot easier. So bring a, like a book bag or a backpack. Always carry a water bottle. They had um, drink machines in there, but they were like 3 or $4 for a drink, and you're going to go through a bunch all day long. Um, cause you're going to do so much talking. Um, you want to bring a little pack of tissues. Um, I know it sounds sappy, but some of these speakers will just pierce your heart and you're going to need some tissues. So bring a small pack of tissues, um, a good ink pen, cause there's nothing worse than getting in there and trying to take notes and your ink pen's not working. So make sure you get a good ink pen. Um, 
a small pack of Tylenol or ibuprofen because it's loud in there and there's bright lights and confetti going off. If you get a headache, you do not want to have to go back to the hotel room. You want to be able to take your Tylenol and rock on, okay? So make sure you take that. That's the nurse in me coming out there. But it's good advice, so make sure you remember that. Um, and you'll need a backup battery for your phones. I didn't need a backup battery, but there's a lot of people that did. And it'd be tragic if you couldn't take pictures anymore because your, your phone's gone dead. So make sure you bring a spare battery. Um, other things I want to tell you, talk to new people. Don't be shy. And I have a tendency to be kind of shy in new situations and kind of sit back and kind of evaluate the landscape, you know. But um, you've got so much packed into two and a half days. You've got to make the most of it. You spend a lot of money on these tickets. And even if you win the free tickets, you you spend a lot of money just on your meals and your travel. And it's a business investment. So make sure you talk to a lot of people because they all have stories to tell that you can gain something from. Um, I would be, I went in to the, um, the area where they had the booths that I was telling you about from the home office. And the... Um, Here's one example. I was listening to someone from the home office talk about emails and how you can make them more attractive for your customers and make them a better tool to use. And I asked him a question because, you know, they'll always ask, does anybody have any questions? And I asked a question. I had two directors standing beside me and they said, oh, we can help you with that. And they said, here, take a picture of my name badge and friend me on Facebook and I'll be happy to help you be able to do that little trick with your email I had that happen all the time, even when I maybe wasn't talking directly to that person. Like, they were just there to, everybody was so sweet and kind and giving, and just, they were willing to invest in me as a new consultant when they'd never met me before, and they didn't have to, you know. And so, um, talk to a lot of people. You'll meet a lot of people. Um, uh, take tons of pictures. There'll be booths set up where you can see the new um, new products for fall and winter and harvest and new collections coming out and you're going to want those pictures later um, to put in your VIP pages to share with your customers and so take lots and lots of pictures. Um, uh, one uh, consultant taught me when I was uh, looking at the product displays she would take a picture with the light turned off then she would turn the warmer turn the warmer off and take a picture and turn it on and take a picture and she'd take a picture Two pictures of each item, one with the light off and one with the light on. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea. And I didn't even think about that on my own. But that's good stuff that you can use later, you know, to have your own pictures for that. It's very, very valuable. Um, and then I would encourage you to go live in your personal um, social media pages from SFR and just sort of show people what it's like, um, just so that you can get... Uh, let your friends know so that maybe you can take other people with you the next year so do lots of that um i did put on here be nice i did meet one girl that was kind of well there were two girls but one of them was the only one that was talking that was kind of mean and hateful to me uh in a situation that i'm new and i didn't know better you know and so um and so i was really taken aback um she got mad at me for um cutting line in front of her in the consultant store and y'all the consultant store is shoulder to shoulder and there were people in line turned around talking in small groups so you couldn't tell where the end of the line was and I thought we had gone around to the end of the line but we hadn't quite made it yet and um oh this lady and her friend were just really kind of mean to me about it and I I was not trying to cut line at all you know I, I needed a little help in that situation so my my advice to you would be, if you see somebody there that might be a little overwhelmed or disoriented or just new, or maybe maybe they're just another consultant and you don't know anything about them, always choose kindness first. Because in those situations, I didn't meet anybody there that I thought would try to do something mean or ugly to me or would try to cut in front of me in line or anything like that. I thought that was... A little uncalled for and hurt my feelings a little bit. I told her I would never cut in line for in front of you if I knew where the line was. I'm so sorry. And she just she treated me poorly in that situation. And um, 
I, I had good intentions, you know. So I would encourage you to be sweet to people if they seem like they're in the wrong place. Help them out a little bit. And, um, um, you know, just kind of, that's what Sensi Spirit's all about. And that's what I experienced all weekend except for this one situation. And I thought, you know, I, I can let that roll off my back. But if she said that to someone else, it, it would crush them. Like, she was being kind of hateful. So, so it'd be nice in these big crowds because, uh, and some of our little old, old consultants need a little help sometimes. Let them go in front of you in the bathroom. Situations like that um, are very, it, a little kindness goes a long way um, to people that need some kindness. So that was a, another little thing I had on my list. Um, and I think that's it. And I know this is a really long YouTube video, and I'm sorry that it went long, but I felt like I had so much to tell, and I really have a lot more that I would love to tell, but I can't talk to you for hours about it. But, um, Cincy Family Reunion was fantastic, and if I can help it, I will not miss another one. And it is expensive to go if you don't earn that trip, so I'm going to try very hard to earn that trip for, um, this coming year, but, um, but I'm also going to start a little savings stash just in case that doesn't happen. Um, but I'm counting on that happening. But I do encourage you to start your little savings stash just in case. And uh, if you have saved up enough to go and you end up winning the trip, well, that's just a great little bonus. Then you can put that towards something else. Um, but you don't want to miss Cincy Family Reunion. It was very, very good. And I got lots of good training and lots of good encouragement. And I met so many people that I think will help me months, if not years from now. And that's just really cool. I think I met some people that we'll be friends with for a very long time. And um, and uh, I love that about Cincy. So, anyway, I hope y'all have a great night. And I hope to see y'all with me next year at um, Cincy Family Reunion. It's going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina. I think North Carolina. Maybe South Carolina. <laughs> I'm getting tired now, but, um, it's going to be in Charlotte and, uh, y'all need to make plans to go. This is a very, very good experience. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.